My dear brothers and sisters, I greet you all in the matchless and wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and I am welcoming you all to this Voice of Truth program. Dear, may the grace of God and the peace of Christ be with us all as we study and meditate the word of God and follow them. Today in our lesson, we are going to see an important information with the word of God regarding how we can make the Christianity to be attractive one to the people. And what I am saying it doesn't mean that we have to add something to show the Christianity as an attractive one. So let's see how we can make the Christianity as a religion, as a way of life to be accepted by the people and to be followed by them. Titus 2nd chapter verse 7 and 10 reads like this, in all the things showing yourself to be a pattern of good works in doctrine showing integrity, reverence, incorruptibility and in 10th verse not pilfering but showing all good fidelity that they may adorn the doctrine of God our Savior in all things. Here we can read showing yourself to be a pattern of good works. So it's our bound duty to show the goodness what we are enjoying in Christianity, in Christ to others who have not accepted the same. That's our lesson today, making Christianity attractive. My dear brothers and sisters, making something attractive is what attracts people. So, people are filled with all kind of lusts and uh, things of this world. So, to make them turn back and see the Christianity and to make them attracted towards the Christianity, we have to show the content of Christianity, the truth in Christianity to them. See, I will tell an example from Genesis. Even to do sin, to make Eve commit sin, Satan showed the fruit as a beautiful one. We can read from Genesis chapter 3 verse 5 and 6. For God knows that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be open and you will be like God knowing good and evil. How Satan in the form of the serpent is taking efforts to convince Eve to commit sin. He is like a marketing manager. He is trying to convince Eve to commit sin. He uses the same words what we have read. For God knows that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God. He is trying to convince or he is trying to cheat Eve telling that if you eat this fruit, the forbidden fruit, your eyes will be opened and you will become like God. For an evil one, for an evil reason to commit sin, Satan is trying to provoke or is trying to attract Eve towards this fruit to make her to eat. But we are having the eternal truth, the uncomparable word of God, a peaceful life in Christ. We are having a hope of eternal life going to heaven. So what we should do? Are we trying to uh, show this way of life to the people or who are not enjoying it? We are enjoying this life. We are enjoying Christianity. But if you are keeping silent, it's not good. So, our today's lesson is regarding showing this Christianity as an attractive one to the people. Beloved people, let me read the word of our Lord as it said in John chapter 12 and verse 32. And I, if I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all peoples to myself. See, what a confidence our Lord Jesus Christ is having when he said this, when I am lifted up from this world, I will draw all people to me. So this is the confidence that we should have through my words, through my deeds, through my love and through all things possible, I will try to convince people to draw them near to my Lord Jesus Christ and Christ. So this is what we should have, this confidence our Lord Jesus Christ said. Also, we can read from Acts chapter 2 verse 47. Praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily 
those who were being saved see the early christians what they did they were praising god and they were having favor with all the people and because of this reason they were praising god and they were having favor with all the people and because of this reason we can read the next line and the lord added to the church daily those who are being saved so today the church has to do the same they have to praise god and live a christian life this is one part the other part is they have to find favor with the people they have to convince people that christianity is a good religion to follow it is a living religion it follows the living god it has the hope of eternal life after this life so they have to convince people this the early christians did and we have to do the same praising god and they were having favor with the people and hence the lord added the people to the church daily so this is what we should do to attract people towards christianity and christ my dear brothers and sisters let us today see just four points how we can make christianity as an attractive one to the general public to the unknown people so the first one is let's read matthew 5th chapter and 16th verse let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father in heaven what a wonderful verse we have here my dear brothers and sisters it shows us this verse explains that how we should live to make people to know christ here i am reading it again let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father in heaven so they are going to see our good works the general people and they are going to glorify god in heaven this is what god expects they are not going to praise us they are going to glorify god in heaven so that our light shine before men so this is what we have to do through our good works we have to make people know christ and this eternal life the second thing is let's read john chapter 13 verse 35 in which we can see that through our love we can make people know christ and christianity by this all will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another if we love one another people will come to know we belong to christ this is what happened some 20 30 years before the christians the people who followed the bible they were so lovable they showed their love unmerited love to the general people also but today all things have changed we are like the common people normal ordinary worldly people we are giving tit for tat we are fighting back there is no forgiveness there is no love to the unknown people even among the family there is no love but christianity is a religion which follows love and here our lord jesus christ tells that by this by this reason people will know that you are my disciples by what reason if you love one another so through loving one another only we can make the people know that we belong to christ we are of christ christ also loved the same kind of love and the third one how we can make people to know christ and christianity how we can attract people towards christianity the third reason is through our speech the first one through our good deeds or good works the second one through our love we can make people to know christ and the third reason in our today's lesson is through our speech how our speech should be how our words should be the bible tells like this colossians chapter 4 verse 6 reads like this let your speech always be with grace seasoned with salt that you may know how you ought to answer each one when someone asking is a question about our faith about our belief how we are answering are in common uh, times also in our workplace or in our family or in general if someone is asking a question or or someone is trying to provoke us however answer is however reply is but bible tells us how it should be here it tells like this let your speech always be with grace words filled with grace so there will not be any harshness it will the words will not wound others it will be with grace see so let your words be with grace filled with grace seasoned with salt also it should have some content 
just nothing like blah 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 it should have some content so we it should be seasoned with salt that you might know how you ought to answer each one so if we are speaking like this words with grace and seasoned with salt then people will really like christianity and christians and christ so this is the way we can do this the finally how we can make people to attract towards the christianity it is through our unity the early christians we can read in acts chapter 2 verse 42 to 47 they were having a united fellowship even when one was suffering financially the people who had lands and other things they sold and they kept them in common and they enjoyed all the, those things and they were united in their thinking in following the way of god in doing something to the lord in all these things they had a unity let's read one verse regarding this acts chapter 4 verse 32 now the multitude of those who believed were of one heart and one soul neither did any one say that any of the things he possessed was his own but they had all things in common you can read that they were having one heart and one soul what a great people they were they were having one heart and one soul some decision has to be taken in the church regarding conducting a gospel meeting they were having a one heart and one soul so one answer came if something was to be decided regarding helping the poor they were having one heart and one soul so one decision was taken but what's the situation today in the churches even for deciding the about the things that is mentioned in bible regarding conducting a gospel meeting helping the poor or doing some evangelism work there are two or three ideas divisions among the people so even for doing those things good things what is mentioned in the bible we are having divisions today i am not just uh, trying to degrade today's christians but what we should do is mentioned in the bible those christians early christians were they were having one heart and one soul so they decided unanimously they were having unity among themselves my dear brothers and sisters in our lesson today we have seen four things what we can do to make christianity to be an attractive one to the general people we need not often hardly talk about christianity to convince people just if we are doing good works if we are loving christians if our speech is with grace with the words of grace and if we are united then automatically it will make christianity to be attractive one a way of life and people will automatically they will come and enjoy this christian fellowship and eternal life let's do these things as the bible tells let's pray our heavenly father we thank you for this wonderful time your wonderful instructions through the word of god you have proclaimed today that we should make christianity as a way of life that all the people should look into it and come towards it only through us you want to do that one through our good works through our loving attitude through our graceful words and through our united mind we can make this christianity to be a attractive one that people will automatically come towards it help us to do that one in jesus precious name we pray amen be blessed by studying the word of god to receive the voice of truth international magazine and to study the bible systematically through our english bible correspondent course kindly write to us our address gracious word po box 15 arsradi madurai 625016 tamil nadu for more details dial 9244204420 9244214421 God bless you The Church of Christ salutes you